and welcome back. I'm Goalie and this is Max B. Max Payne. <coughs> Let's continue. Yes, so I have a baseball bat. Only a baseball bat. Uh, a dude. Yep. Oh, pff, he killed his friend. That's awesome. Maybe if I go here. Okay, they go there. Let's go here then. Ooh, this is a sneaky mission. Oh, bye bye! What is this? Nothing! Interesting! Oh, crap. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm not going in any door. Okay, bye bye. Not going there. Not going there. Wait, wait, wait. No, fudge. Two more. Ah! Ah! Can they see me? No. So, what's in here? Oh, they're just running around patrolling. Okay, let's do that then. Oh shit. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, they go there. And this is my stuff. Oh, awesome. No more. Oh, well, this is. Oh. And how am I supposed to kill you? Um, can I just. Oh. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> what a sound. Awesome sound effect. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Really? Oh shit. <clears throat> okay, boys. Go. Yeah, I'll just follow you. <laughs> dum 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 dum. Wait, wait, there's another door. We should go there. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, bye bye. I'm good now. Let me just save. <clears throat> Oh crap again. Oh, I think I didn't die, but wait. Pump action shotgun. Yeah, that's better. Oh. This way? Uh, yeah, I think. Oh. Oh my god. Hello? Yep. Ugh. This- oh shit, no. Come on, in face. Yes, that's good, that's good. Awesome. Who's throwing that shit? Okay, two there. Ah, oh, crap! Who? Ah, oh, there! 
This one. Come on, in face, face bullets. Come on, why won't you die? Oh, crap. Ah, thank you. So, how the hell am I supposed to? I don't know. Let me just. Bye bye. Okay, I'm not going there. Oh shit! Ah, oh, fuck! there okay one down oh no oh my god that's a powerful grenade oh oh my god there's one more Why won't you just die? Oh, there's another place. So, we're moving forward. Okay, cocaine stash. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't mean to use that, but let me save again. Because this is... Well, you see this. Yeah, no, no, just shotgun. Shotgun is fine. Oh. Hello. Oh. Almost dead. Again. And am I supposed to go here? Okay. Um, ring ring, no, okay. Um, am I going back in? Things are fast going from bad to worse. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. <sighs> the men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. Who? Oh. Amazing. Okay, let me just, as you know, save. Ah, come on. No need. Yes. Searching for stuff. Nope. Just forget about it. <laughs> Just forget about it. Forget, forget about, it. about it. Let's forget about it. That crazy witch you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about <clears throat> Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. Ooh. Oh shit. Yeah, that's awesome. Just forget about it. Right, just forget about it. Come on. Okay, I have to watch this. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. 
Oh, come on. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. Come on. Oh. The Punchinello didn't like me much. Uh, better wait, let me reload. Let me take stuff. Evidence, okay. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable v. sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me, didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. Oh yeah, and of course... <laughs> I don't want to hear everything, anything on that ever again, so... I'm just gonna save. Okay, this is empty. Um, okay, that's empty. Oh yeah, the big key that I took. Okay, that's nothing. Somebody's flushing a toilet. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's go here. Hey. Yeah, uh... Why the hell you are so pale? Oh my god! Do you, you shit blood? And watching porn magazines? While shitting blood? Dude! Yeah, well. well yeah. Oh! The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Yeah, come out. More. Oh. So it's only you and me, dude. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Here you go. Okay, so... Again, this. Not interested. Oh. oh my god. So he's dead? That's good. Oh. Thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely iron. Had enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. 
That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang. You're dead, Max Payne. I Ew. might have laughed if I remembered how. Vladimir! What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Yeah, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Ooh, chapter two and off. Offer you cannot refuse. Pancinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dime, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Poncinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Poncinello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. Oh yeah! So we're at cargo! And we're gonna invade a ship. So, watch next episode. Until then, thank you for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.